And I want you to listen up, Chicago, and, and wherever you're watching me around throughout the United States and really around the world, this might be something that you may need to consider in a similar uh, uh, circumstance. And that is this. Let me read this part before I give you my two cents. It says, while city officials on Tuesday dismissed the notion of an outbreak at the shelter, it says there have been clusters of illness at other shelters where people sleep on cots close to each other, including chicken pox and hand, foot and mouth disease. Now, he's admitting this. And then you see one of the other legislators that say, hey, if we're going to welcome them. We need to welcome them to the health department first because of the dangers of diseases crossing the border. Watch this. The question becomes, Mr. Mayor, when did you know this? The mayor is already dealing with all kind of pushback and actual lawsuits from some of his constituency and entities because of this crisis and rightfully so. Now I'm saying, hint, hint, Chicago, I'm wondering if you all should talk to the appropriate legal minds as to whether or not the city should also be liable for knowingly and willfully putting their constituency in harm's way. They should have had a reasonable duty to prevent some of this. Did they disclose to the public? Now that he's doing all this admission, that they're showing up sick. Now they fighting you, telling you that they don't even want you to have the right to vote on whether or not your city can be a sanctuary city. Hello, Chicago. That's what the city council recently voted on, the silence and to shut down your voices. They've been maligning you in the media. They changed the city council rules, which of course we found out just recently that that ended up being ineffective. But they nevertheless still changed the rules. I just wanted you to see the undemocratic uh, 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 links that they'll go to to shut you down. I'm saying I wonder if there might possibly be grounds for another lawsuit interrelated to that. This lets you all know that they don't give, they don't care one bit about you. Not only for political reasons, not only economically, not only because of shelter, not only because of all the black homeless folks that are there, people that have had to flee because they can't afford housing there, but they're willing to put you in harm's way. This was foreseeable. Some might say this was intentional. I'm just throwing it out there. 